Hello friends, Eli here from Mystic Circuits, coming to you with a slightly more serious video. Some of you might be looking at the most recent Zero HP modular releases and thinking, there are too many VCAs and I can't decide which one to buy. Well friend, I am here to demystify your options and help you on your path to Zero HP Mastery. First off, let's explore the Zero HP AND gate slash VCA. This VCA is the most straightforward, the CV input reacts immediately to incoming signals, allowing you to use very snappy envelopes. The module can also react to control voltage signals at audio rate, perfect for lush amplitude modulation. However, this module can add some subtle distortion at low control voltage levels. It can sound quite pleasant, but must be taken into account. Also, the trigger output can be used as a mix input, but it is AC coupled, so mixing control voltages may yield unexpected results. Also, driving the CV input with a gate can result in unexpected clicks. The main advantage of the Zero HP Vactral modules is that they can be driven by a trigger or gate without any clicking because they slow down incoming CV signals. However, if the CV starts changing quickly enough, the Vactral modules will just stay on rather than performing amplitude modulation. The Vactral VCA is the cleanest of the three Zero HP VCAs but it also has the most bleed and usually has a longer decay time than its low pass gate counterpart. The Vectral low pass gate is generally much shorter and pluckier sounding than the VCA, but it colors the sound much more than the other two because it has a filter built in.
both of the Vectral modules accept DC signals at their mix inputs. Even the 0HB OR gate can be used as a sort of glitchy VCA. Because it performs a maximum function, running audio into one input and an envelope into the other will choke the audio. Plug into the trigger output in order to remove DC and get ducking. What is your favorite Zero HP style VCA? Let us know in the comments below, and thank you for watching.